Hello everybody and welcome back to the Galactic Armory. You guys liked the shop tour video so much that I thought I'd do another video and this time covering our paint booth. We use this pretty much every day. What it does and what's special about it is that it extracts the air inside there, dumps it outside so that we're not breathing in these spray paint fumes, these sanding dust, anything that we don't want to be breathing. We do in here and it keeps the area smelling nice and protects us as prop makers as well. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cover exactly kind of what materials we use, what tools we use as well to make this. We're just gonna kind of look around it cause it's already assembled and I don't wanna take it apart to show you guys everything. I wish I would have made a build video on it but I wasn't sure if it was gonna work. Uh, so here we are today. I'll show you how it works and we'll go in there. It will get a little loud cause it's currently running uh, but I'll show you the setup. So if you follow me. We got some things in there right now. So here is our lovely looking paint booth. We got lights on either side that help illuminate the object being painted. On here, we have some pegboard. Now, I stole a lot of this project from, uh, I like to build stuff, Bob there. Uh, he made a paint booth and so I used a lot of his advice in his video. So be sure and check that out. In that video, he mentioned something that kind of acts as a, uh, as a screen or sort of as a pre-filter. That's what this pegboard does. We have two layers of it. Each one kind of overlaps each other. It still allows air through, but it catches a lot of the particulates that uh, come with spray painting. We usually have to like scrape it off every week or so, but that helps, you know, prolong the life of the air filter that we have behind there. You can see there, let's see if I can lift this up without destroying everything. Uh, so we got, I believe that's a, yep, 24 by 24 air filter. We replace those about once every couple weeks. Luckily, they're pretty cheap and it helps prevent us from just blowing out and spray paint like colorants and all that. So that's probably due for a change, but let's check out behind it because that's kind of where the interesting stuff is. We're gonna get real close together. What we have here is kind of the sealant. So this box here is kind of a sealed box. That is what the air filter is in front of. And this is what the vacuum is pulling air out of. So if we look closely, we've got some ductwork in there that is just connected. All of the possible air escapes are duct taped off. We've got some six inch tubing in there because we wanted the air draw to be powerful enough to uh, suck all those fumes out. You can also see we recently actually had to fork it off for our laser cutter. So this laser cutter uses four inch piping instead of six. So we had to convert that. So then we uh, just basically had to make a T intersection labeled each one. So that we know like this side is paint, that side over there is a laser cutter. Inside each of these ends here, we have, I believe they're called dampers. So those just kind of change the airflow a bit. So we want to be drawing from the paint booth when we're using the paint booth and we want to draw from the laser cutter when we're using the laser cutter. You can see this paint booth is currently marked open and the laser cutter is closed. That's gonna save air draw, make sure we're not wasting air being sucked out of both sides because then you're, you're practically sucking air out of neither side. Okay, that was a lot. I hope I'm explaining it well enough. Let's, uh, let's go now to the back side and see what is actually drawing out the air. We're gonna have to get real creative here with how we look at it, but that is the motor there. It is attached to the six inch hole that we uh, hired a contractor to cut out in our back wall. This motor is advertised a lot for uh, the devil's lettuce growers. It's just basically a motor that blows air outwards and in turn sucks air through the filter and through the paint booth blowing it all outside. There is something really cool about that motor and that it includes, look here, uh, this little uh, button switch. So that will turn it off. That will slowly start to spin the motors down, but uh, we can control the, the flow here. We usually just turn it on all the way or not have an auto and all, but that, that button is really handy as a way to attach it somewhere where we can easily reach because that motor is way back there and hard to find. All right, let's go a little bit of a field trip out uh, behind the building. I can show you 
exactly where all the air goes. We're going on a trip in our favorite rocket ship, zooming through the sky, little Einsteins. It just rained a lot, so we'll see if I slip and fall in the mud or not. Almost just ate it there. But having a paint booth in a place like this is an absolute necessity. Uh, number one, it makes you not reliant on the weather because you can actually paint inside and uh, you don't have to wait for sunshiny days. This is very muddy. If I slip and fall, this video better get a million views or something. So imagine like a dryer vent. It acts a lot in the same way. There is our six inch hole and it's got the little vent. And you can see that air is blowing out that way and uh, keeps these little covers lifted. But that's what vents all of the toxic smells, all the bad fumes, all of that vents it out here outside. And you can see it's got some black, but it's not like colored, all different colors of the rainbow. Because we have that air filter in there, that is what captures a lot of the color and uh, all that's left basically is fumes, particles that are small enough to pass through that filter, and those get vented out the building. Uh, that's about all I have for this video. I wanted to say thank you. There were so many nice comments on the shop tour video. Uh, a lot of them commenting about how far we've come, you know, from doing this in a one bedroom apartment to having a dedicated space now with, with a setup like that, tools like that that let us work year round. It is absolutely a crazy journey that we've all been on. And I have you guys to thank for that. Let me know if you guys want to see more behind the scenes, uh, any more like how do we do it or what do we do? Any videos like that, I'd be happy to cover them for you guys as you guys' support has it's been the world to us. We, we get to make Star Wars toys and props and uh, we get to do that for a living and not many people get to say that. So thank you all very much. I hope to see you all in the next video. Again, let me know what you would like to see in the comments and I'll try and make it happen. Bye now.